Uh, our grocery expert, Jerry Austin, couldn't be with us, but she's with us here in uh, spirit and she'll be available as a resource for anyone after who wants additional support with Metro's grocery solution. Just a quick high level to, to, to get us started here. Um, Metro has lots of solutions for all different areas of the grocery store. We're just going to talk about only grocery merchandising today. So there's a couple of hot zones, you know, whether it's uh, knee knockers near, near departments like the deli or the bakery, bulk food aisles, end caps, or other, other display island, merchandise, merchandising islands that exist. These, are, these purple hotspots represent the areas of the store we're going to talk about today. Metro does have obviously lots of solutions for the back of the house, cool, et cetera. People know us for that, but we also have uh, a suite of merchandising and retail solutions that we're going to talk about today. And with that, I'll turn it over to my partner in crime, Jerry Kenlock. Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's well. Um, so in taking a holistic look at, at grocery, it's clear that the whole world really has a new series of pain points. And that is no better illustrated than Kevin here in his best Friday night latex onesie, uh, again, illustrating that consumers are obviously very sensitive to the shopping experience. So sanitation is absolutely paramount, net paramount now. And as such, bulk foods in supermarkets, as we know it, have been greatly uh, impacted. Um, so that's, that's sanitation. So in addition to sanitation, the other aspect of this little WebEx is capacity. Grocers are looking to add capacity um, for ways to merchandise new products that have, frankly, become far more, unfortunately, relevant today, PPE, cleaners, et cetera. Um, so the next slide is, why are they looking to add capacity? It's kind of pretty obvious why they're looking for sanitation, but why are they looking to add capacity? Well, I think it's because customer behavior has changed. All their buying habits have evolved. If you think about it, the way that we shopped several months ago, we would go into a supermarket a couple of days, maybe twice a week, whatever, pick up a couple of things and then bolt out. That's done. That's over. Now we go once or maybe every two weeks, we binge shop, we load up the carts, and we blow, get out of there. And let's keep it going, Kev. Um, so the new realities, yes, the good old days when you would let your kids run amok and go, you know, diving into the jelly bean tubs or you would sneak a handful of macadamia nuts, Nancy, uh, in the bulk food aisle, that's over because the bulk food aisle is closed. It's done. The bulk food aisle has evolved into the prepackaged clamshell display. So the new normal really ensures that there's no cross-contamination. And frankly, a byproduct of this new reality is that it could drive sales as bulk purchase quantities per transaction could actually be going up, because if you think about it, grocers have more control over the yield, as opposed to going into the store again and getting a handful of quinoa or whatever. Now you're going to go in and you're going to get a package of 8 to 10 to 12 ounces of that same thing. So on the left is how we operated as a society uh, in February, and on the, on the right side is, is today or the future, or the foreseeable future. So in regards to capacity, one element in supporting um, the artist formerly known as bulk foods are merchandise. Merchandisers. They can be configured a number of different ways, and they provide high visibility and, and density in a very small footprint. You can see the way operators are realizing greater capacity are through dump bins. Got to be honest, don't love the term dump bin. But it's supermarket speak, and they get it. They understand that. You go in there, you talk dump in, they got it. So now some connotations on dump bins are that they were for the cheap or closeout items, but that's really, that's not the case. They provide visibility and access for any products. And again, think of customers, our own behavioral shopping changes. You want to get into a store, power shop, and get out the door. And, and on your way out, as you see these impulse of these bins with different types of items, and again, they could have PPE or any, any items, it, it gives grocers, again, another, another facing to the customer. So they are, dump bins are a thing. They're a real thing. Um, another area that grocers add more capacity is through knee knockers. 
named obviously because they are lower profile and you can knock your knees into them, but they truly do drive impulse buys. We've all been in the deli, sitting there, you know, standing behind the refrigerator counter. We look down, <gasps> Hawaiian sweet rolls. Oh <laughs> yeah, I know. That's just what I need. So they work. Knee knockers work. Uh, and then the last uh, merchandising um, tool that we use basically are end caps. End caps absolutely are the rock stars of the supermarket. If there's a rock star of a supermarket, it would be an end cap. Uh, they are the first thing you see when you walk into a supermarket. They're the last thing you see as you're walking out past it to check out. And they're the areas that really truly are the prime real estate where you can have some high volume or, or high margin, frankly, items for consumers to, to shop from. So these are just some merchandising examples at a high level. Kevin is going to get into a little more of the details as far as SQs and configurations. And thank you for your time. All right. Metro has the right tool for the job, almost any job. Not sure if we can get that nail out of that head, but when it comes to grocery merchandising, there are a lot of different solutions that we can help people with. Uh, one of the best ones, and, and for, for our food service group, th this particular product is somewhat new to them. It is quick slot drop mat. So the drop mat shelf, obviously, so the, the shelf mat is on the lower edge of the shelf, and the, the shelf snake is up above, and it creates a ledge, which provides some nice containment so products can't, uh, fall off the shelving unit accidentally when someone is shopping. They merchandise very nice and they're excellent for density and we will talk and adjustability. We will talk about that shortly. Um, we're setting up some pre-configs on these to come soon. As you'll notice, they're often sold with many, many tiers. It's not uncommon to have a, a unit like this to have six, seven, eight, nine tiers of shelving as they're really trying to maximize the SKUs with, with, within a given space. Except you could take the shelf right out of the middle as shown in this picture it's, it's our easiest and fastest to adjust shelf that Metro has, and it hooks into the, into the upright post with little hooks. The, the main value proposition is that easy adjustment, and then that you get more tiers in the same vertical space because the shelf is super thin, only a quarter inch. It's, it is thinner than gondola. It helps you get more shelves within the same vertical space as gondola. More shelving means more skews, which means more, more sales. You see how thin it is and how the shelf just comes in and sits on top of that little hook within the shelf there. Um, dump bins, a couple of pre-configured option with dump bins. There are short dump bins that are 36 inches high with two eight inch deep baskets. And there's taller dump bins that are 57 or 66 inches high with four eight inch dump bins and they come in single wide and double wide configurations. Um, often you may want to build your own. So Metro has a number of different basket shelf options that fit on you know on standard super active shelving so you can configure them into stationary units or carts so these are just the catalog numbers for some of the different options we have in basket shelves and the mobile posts that go with it and we have options in both chrome and black uh, we showed some pictures of these tiered waterfalls before to show that again it's just a basic shelving unit where the smaller units are stacked on top we have some pre-configured models for this um, the stationary and mobile, the mobile units are more popular, so they can be wheeled around. So I've given you some mobile SKUs down here. And similarly, we have these tiered waterfalls, just so you can see how they work. Again, it's a smaller unit, uh, provides a nice aesthetic and helps you hand different, handle different size items. Uh, they come in, uh, black is the color we're recommending, but they come in lots of different designer colors as well. This particular customer went with our copper hammer tone, which has a nice rustic look to it. There's also these more elaborate center options. They're great for candy displays, coffee displays, wine, um, lots. And there's there's a few different pre-configs here that are pre-built. Uh, knee knockers are pretty standard and straightforward. It's a basic platform shelf with a 13-inch post and then an extra shelf that's added. So these are pretty simple. So it's just a build-your-own knee knocker. Two shelves, four posts, 13 inches high. If you want to, uh, so that's the end. Again, we're, we're, we're trying to keep these short and sweet. So those are our grocery applications. If you want to learn more about grocery display, you could check out our website. Um, we've just uh, in, made some improvements to the grocery applications page. Uh, there will be a cleanable, safe, and sturdy uh, Super Recta Pro. It's our wire shelf product with a removable mat. And there's lots of changes coming to cardboard being less relevant in restaurants and what that means for storage.